Hey, it's Chris here, Oklahoma. I was trying to show you guys what I got going on with the two window air conditioners. I've got one air conditioner on the living room circuit here, B, and I've got the other air conditioner on the F here on this circuit. And it looks like the living room compressor just kicked on. And as you can see, it's drawing just over a thousand watts there, and this one hasn't kicked on. It is about 90 degrees outside. The, the inside temperature of the house is beautiful, wonderful. And my dilemma, see it shows uh, 1,200 watts being used by and that's about right compared to the uh, transfer switch over there. And that's what's being drawn. My solar charge controllers, this one's making pretty near 980, 990 watts there. And down here on the Renji array, about 940-ish. So I'm making decent power with just the air conditioners on battery voltage is about 25.5 see which isn't bad overall you know because the the compressor turns on turns off and like right there which is cool but man I tell you I turn anything else on you know even though I got LED lighting and all that it the problem that I'm having is that all my solar energy from the panels which I got 2,505 watts in panels everything is getting essentially used up by the air conditioners um, you know and, and still be able to, to charge up a little bit on the batteries you know maintain some type of effective charge but uh, for the most part, it runs anywhere from 1.2 1 1 all the way up to about 1.9. And during the peak sun of the day, it's no big deal. But man, those, those two hours before the peak time and the two hours after that, this, this whole system is just struggling. So what I need to do is uh, really, really, really consider another addition to my pergola over here and I'm gonna I don't know about a probably about a kilowatt more on that deal but I just wanted to show you where I'm at you know making making great power with the with what I got I'm making excellent power in the full sun you know 75 percent plus this is running probably about 70 percent with the with the uh, sun power over here and then this is running pretty close to 80% with the Renogy. Those ones over there, those 12 panels over there. So it's kicking ass. And it's 1 o'clock afternoon. So it's peak hours right now. But yeah, the system kicks ass. But uh, I, just need, I just need more, I need more panels. Um, and I want to run a whole bunch of batteries because that'd be just... That's all I'd be doing is charging batteries and storing it for a little bit and, <laughs> and it's done. Uh, I want to keep my battery banks just enough to power this and not, not blow, the, blow them up out of hell. <laughs> all right, I'll shut up now. Hey, you guys, uh, take care. Stay cool. You know, stay hydrated. Uh, I went to uh, Chickasaw Culture Center yesterday and Turner Falls and then we went to this place called Little Niagara Falls which was in Sulphur, Oklahoma hidden treasure in Oklahoma hidden freaking treasure I have oh my god that water is artesian well water artesian aquifer percolate spring water unbelievably clean totally refreshing feel like a new man um, highly recommend it if you're in Oklahoma look me up hell we'll go down there when it's 90 degrees and bring your water shoes and flip-flop around and 
jump in the water and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Oklahoma has some freaking hidden treasures in the state. You just got to go find them. All right, hey, uh, take care and uh, let me know what you think. Later.